fissure. The book would not be destroyed as I had planned. It continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed, but I must admit that such conjecture is futile. Still, the questions about whose hands might one day hold my misbook are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written. Okay. Hey folks, welcome back to uh, After Work Gaming. We are playing Mist 2021 by Cyan. And this is a remake in the Unreal Engine of the original Mist from 1993, so almost 30 years ago. And for those of you who are who just don't remember, maybe are a little too young to remember, uh, the original Mist was just a point-and-click adventure and puzzle game. You would click your way through the world, you would click your way to interact with the world, and so uh, the ability to walk around this place is fantastic. And I appreciate it very much just because I, I love the original game. And this won't be a fully blind playthrough because obviously I played the original, but I, I don't remember any of the puzzle solutions. So in that sense, it'll be blind. I kind of remember some of the story beats. I remember the general gist, but but not the puzzles. And so I am playing this, for those of you who also have this version, I'm playing this on Classic, which is the original 90, 1993 Puzzle Solutions. You can also, if you just remember all the puzzles, you can choose to play it with random solutions. Cyan has included that. And I think that's a very nice touch. But with that said, and without further ado, let's just go ahead and walk around a little. And see what we can find. Oh, hello. Catherine. I've left for you a message of utmost importance in our four chamber beside the dock. Enter the number of marker switches on the island into the imager to retrieve the message. Yours, Atris. Okay. Well, so I'm assuming this is the four chamber because there was a button down there. And I'm assuming those are the marker switches. Uh, but let's quickly... We're not going to go into any of these buildings, but let's just quickly look around and just sort of get a lay of the land. Uh, the other thing I would point out, so I'd, I guess two things. First, this is for VR and PC. I'm playing this on PC just because I feel like it would be a smoother experience. A log cabin, a tree. Growing out of the ground, sure. Um, we will try it in VR just to see what it looks like, but for the most part, we'll play it on PC just because, uh, with VR, I'm a little bit more concerned about how the video turns out just because where my eyes look and where the camera actually points for purposes of recording may be different. Okay, brave marker. All right, let's go to the four chamber. Uh, the other thing is, like I said, I remember some of the beats. I remember the general gist, certainly, of the of the game. But I, I'm not going to really uh, talk about things that happen in later on in the plot, just to avoid spoilers. I know a lot of you have probably played this game. Uh, but, you know, especially if, if you have played and for purposes of sort of newer players who haven't, uh, I just asked uh, you guys avoid spoilers in the comments. I, I think everyone should just have a, a pretty fun experience with this game, and, and coming into it blind is like the best way of playing it, really. Settings, Dimensional Imager. Wish to interact. Okay, so this is basically the cyan interaction from like abduction. Topological extrusion test for 40. Marker switch diagram 47. We'll check that. Water turbulent pool, sure. Nope. Alright, so. So we were on turbulent pool, now we're on 47. So this is the marker switch. Okay. And then let's just try 40. Yep, there we go. Let's 
so... Okay. Uh, obviously, because this is mist... Eh, this is, let's just see what it's like, yeah. No? Okay. I was thinking maybe there was like a different noise if we didn't get the number. It just doesn't turn on. Okay. So, um, as I was saying, because this is mist, and this is sort of the... The granddaddy of a lot of the the puzzle adventure games. There were probably ones before that. Uh, certainly a lot of text-based ones. But this sort of set the bar when it came out. I mean, it was so popular, by the way, when it came out on <laughs> in '93. It came out on CD that this game drove the adoption of CD-ROM drives. You know what I mean? Like people were so excited about this game and thought it was so great that they actually went out and bought CD-ROM drives to play it. Oh, fun fact. Okay, so let's count marker switches. One. I'm going to flip them up so I don't double count. One. Also, the, the diagram inside showed them flipped up, so why not follow it? Two. Okay, I'm assuming there's one near every one of these, like, landmark buildings, but we'll see. Two. Three. Out of curiosity, do they go back down? If I do it, yeah, okay. So, but three. Oh, oh, there's one over there. Three, this is now four. Okay. Uh, and shift this to sprint, by the way, which, frankly, I'm just going to sprint everywhere. Five. Six. We'll get there in a second. Seven. One up here. No. Okay, so seven or eight. Right? Seven or eight. So that's eight over there. Let's just double check that note. I'm curious about something and how much of a stickler I should be about this. Alright, which the number of mark switches on the island. Alright, seven or eight. The reason I'm I'm debating myself uh, with myself, I mean it's only just the one number, we can try both, but is technically the one by the clock tower isn't on the island. You know what I mean? So let's just give let's let's try seven and then and then we'll put in eight if that doesn't work. Uh sure why not. Okay, we can't tell by the noise, so we can only tell by Nope, it's eight. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, and you and you notice that a lot of the interaction, they said there's a lot of new interaction, but... Um, Catherine, my love, I have to leave quickly. Something terrible has happened. It's hard for me to believe. Most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine, it's one of our sons. I suspect Akanar. But I shouldn't leap to conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. I should have known not to have left my library unchecked for so long. I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in the places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return, but if you've forgotten the access key, remember the tower rotation, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Uh, oh, and erase this message after you viewed it just to be safe. Okay, well, that was Atris, who left the note. Uh, remember the tower rotation, sure. Okay, now, now, let's just go ahead and explore the island a little bit more. And I'm assuming the central library is where we're going after this, but... Let's just, let's just sort of take stock of what's on the island because, uh, you know, that's just how we play these games. We look around, we see what we have. Little Pantheon. Ooh. It's a little planetarium. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. We have the stars. And then I guess what? We can... Oh, I see. We can set the date, the month, the day. I'm assuming that's the year, and this is... Let's just check one thing. Okay, that's the hour. Fine. 
Ooh. On January 1st, year zero, uh, 2300 hours. Is that Does that mean that that's the, um, that's what the sky looked like in that particular... Okay. We'll just get to that. We'll, uh, see if we get any information, like a date or something, and try it in there. Let's try the spaceship. Let's see if we can open that thing up. There's a wire. Ah. Power... Power wire? Yes, we're... Okay, we can climb up there and flip switches, but we're not going to do that quite yet. And I'm assuming this is probably like a generator room. Definitely has the ambiance of one. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Ooh, hello. Generator switches... Okay, we're gonna have to figure out which switches to flip in order to fully power that spaceship, I'm guessing. Let's go back up. That little sunken pirate... pirate ship? Well, the sunken ship. Looks like it matches that one. Okay, we're not gonna do that right now. Clock tower. Is this... Yes, it does. It sets the time. So we're going to have to figure out what time to set to open up the clock tower, I guess. Okay, combination to the safe. And we're going to have to mess with the PSI. Okay, cool. So with that, let's go inside the library and find out what's going on. Use spacebar to take a picture. You can access your photos through the menu. Yeah, we're not going to... So you can. This game introduced a photo album. But we, we just have a piece of paper. I like taking notes for these games. I mean, I started doing it, honestly, in the original Myst, and I, I, I didn't stop. Yes, it's a map of the island, right? Because all these features are on there. Cool. Is there anything to... Hello. Ah. I am guessing that this is to set up like the what puzzle we want to solve, maybe? Tower rotation, right? That's what Atris said. And that's the only real tower I see. Okay, let's just... Hold on. We'll check everything else in a minute, but I'm just curious. Make sure of something. Put it, like, right here. Right? Is there a little, like, peep window or something? Yeah, there you go. There's a little murder hole that you can look out of. Okay. Then... Oh. Heck with it. Let's uh let's put it on the gears. Let's just keep looking around. Red book, blue book. Now, I said no spoilers. I will say this I I remember the red and blue pages. You collect red and blue pages. That's all I'm going to say. But Okay. Okay. 
I think we're going to get similar reception with the red pages. So, he's Cirrus, and I'm guessing that's Achenar, and those are the two sons that Atris was referring to in his message. Okay, let's see, what else, what else? No? Nothing? Okay. What about this one? Oh. Oh, hello. Ah, ah, okay. Open the port, open the passageway, close the, okay. Um, just close it for now, I want to see what's on these shelves. Okay. Channel wood. Stone ship age. The selenetic age of mist and mechanical. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and grab one of these. Okay. Called the Age Channel in a very different world. All right, this is definitely a lot of reading material. I just don't want to get into reading quite yet. We will obviously read all four of these books, but um, not quite yet. Anything else in here? What about this? Anything else in here that we can hit? No, no, okay, click. Interesting. No, nothing. No loose bricks or anything. Nothing. Well, we don't need a loose brick when there's a big red button. Uh, wait a minute. Try it again. I see. Okay, so we're going to need to find a pattern. To open something, I guess. Okay. So. Tower rotation to find the books, right? That was the whole point. So let's rotate the tower to one of these four places, right? We have it on the gears. Technically, it's as good a place as any, right? The ship is submerged, so we can't... Although maybe if we, if we put it on the ship, it'll tell us, like how to do the thing here to right because this is clearly the way to raise it <laughs> um this is probably going to tell us how to power the the ship this is going to tell us how to maybe open the safe but now you know what let's go with yeah, let's go with here just because here's what i think we can do Channel wood, that's got to be the one with the tree, right? Stone ship age. Um, I'm going to guess that that's the sunken ship. Selenetic age. I mean, we'll get to that in a second. Mechanical age is the gears, right? So process of elimination is the spaceship. So I'm betting that that's what it is. So now we have or the little uh, safe combination. Now let's go ahead and see what is in the tower. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Ooh. There's a little elevator. Let's go ahead and close it. Let's go up.
Right. First of all, let's just double check that we can actually look out onto the place. Okay. Book. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah, see, that's the cabin, right? That's the, the like, yeah, the log cabin with the safe in it right now. Okay, so... So basically, this is the window you look up, uh, you look out to see where you can get the book, right? We can get the book over there. And the key is the clue to get in, so 724. Perfect. Okay, let's go downstairs and let's go open that safe. And let's see what we can do. Go ahead and do this. It feels a little cumbersome that you have these two paintings, but I think that's just a a, a holdover from the fact that this was that point-and-click kind of game. You know, you would just have a lot of interactivity. 724. That's the combination that we got, right? So, yeah, okay. 7, nope. 7, 2, 4. Bingo! Okay, before we ignite, which I'm assuming would light this. Ah, see? And there's this painting of the, of the, right, of the tree outside, and this, I'm guessing, would control the PSI. Okay, cool. Now let's, now let's ignite. Okay, so there's the flame. A little bit. Does it do anything? Let's just double check on the tree. No. All right, let's crank it some more. Can we just, like, peg it all the way? Oh, uh, okay. There we are. I'm guessing I go in there, but is that okay? That's full height. And then, do we just reduce the flame in order to take it down? Right? Maybe more? I guess maybe we gotta crank it some more. Maybe we really have to just like peg it. Sounded right. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're getting on. Okay. It's a pretty tall tree, so... If this looks like it's going to take a little too long... I mean, I appreciate it, but... It doesn't make for the most riveting... Uh... <laughs> gameplay. So if this might seem like it takes too, too long, uh, I might cut it, or I might not, maybe the first time, just so that, oh, well, there we go. Okay, and if you notice, there's the symbol that was the same as before. Okay, so let's go back up to the library. And we can read the book in the library first, and then we will use that one, because that one's going to transport us out to the, you know, to the land of, I guess, what is it called? Channelwood? Okay. Right? There we go. <laughs> I ain't really got to be quick sometimes with this. Does this do anything? No? Nothing. 
You would think, though. Maybe? Okay. So here's here's what we're going to do while we're writing up. I'm just going to tell you. Uh, we're going to call it there for now. Uh, but we will pick up next time. Not quite here. I will just walk over to the library and we will pick up right away with just reading about Channelwood. Okay? So um, if you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know that I'm doing something right. Let me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts, if you have questions, if you just want to share your favorite story or, or memory about playing Myst, by all means, go ahead and leave a comment. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Better, 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 better